Praise the Lord, everybody.
put our hands together and give God a, a real praise of this place. Amen. To God be the glory. We are so thankful. Amen. Come on, let's have these. Amen. Give God thanks for this praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Sing it. Amen. From the depths of their hearts. To God be the glory. Amen. We have a printed program and we'll fall into the best. Amen. Of our ability. Amen. To just let the Lord have his way in this uh, place. Amen. We're going to ask that you will stand. Amen. For the call to worship. Today, amen, being uh, Bud's Day, amen, our children are in the house. Amen. amen. Do not be shaped by this world. Instead, be changed within a new way of thinking. Then uh, you will be able to decide what God wants from you, and you will be able to know what is good and pleasing to God and what is perfect. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us be seated. Amen for the invocation. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for waking me up this morning. And I thank you for letting me see a new day. Lord, I pray that I will not get caught up in this world, but I will keep my focus on you. I pray you will touch my mind, my body, and my soul. Let me change up for the better to be a better friend, a better student, and a better follower of, of your word. In Jesus' name we pray, and the church of God will say amen, 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 amen. amen. and amen again. Amen. amen. Now, I know I done sat you down, but I'm going to ask you will just stand again, that we may, amen, say what we believe. For where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is one uh, true church apostolic and universal whose holy faith let us now reverently and sincerely declare by the use of the apostles creed let us say what we believe i believe in god the father almighty the maker of heaven and earth and in jesus christ his only son of our lord who was conceived by the holy ghost born of the virgin mary suffered on the pontius pilate was crucified dead and buried the third day he rose from the dead, he ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. You may be seated. We'll now have our scripture reading, amen, by Miss, amen, Sahara Knight. She will come now, amen, amen, to give us, amen, our scripture lesson for the morning, amen. amen. And while she's coming, let's give the children a hand that are here with her, amen, God bless you all, amen, hallelujah. Don't you all get uh, get the running off because after service we want you all to come up here so we can take a picture of all of you all. Amen. God bless you. Amen.
Get rid of all bitterness, rage, and anger, brawling and slander, along with every form of malice. Be kind and compassionate to one another. Forgive each, cho- each other, just as Christ God forgave you. Superintendent of Bud, Mrs. Yvette Bullock will come now to lead us to the throne of grace. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Let us pray. Dear Lord, it's again that we come to you in the humblest way we know how. Yes. Lord, we want to thank you for what you've done for us, what you yet to do for us, and what you're doing for us now. Thank you. Lord, we ask right now in the mighty name of Jesus that you continue to bless us as we go through this pandemic, Lord. Help us to help our children. Help us to be what Maria Clint would want us to be missionaries, helping children and helping our community. Stay with us and help us to serve and to be what you would have us to be. These and all blessings we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 dedicated her life to children's work. She understood that she un- she understood the importance of Christian training for their young children. Miss Clinton worked diligently to see that children be included as a part of General Missionary Society and in 1904, she request, re- requested Trefecu include 
insurgent as an organized department of the National Society was was taken taken to the General Conference in St. Louis, Missouri. It was then that she departed and adopted and through her efforts became permanently known as the Buzz Buzz Department Department and eight in nineteen oh eight. Miss Clinton served as the general superintendent for twenty eight years until nineteen thirty two. She remained an enthusiastic worker until her death in 1834 and in 19 I mean 1934 in 1951 the Missouri Com Convention in Wilmington North Carolina voted that day be set aside in order in order to honor the founder of the Buzz Department Department. Because of Miss Marie L. Clinton Clay Clinton love for devotion to children and the work of mission. The fourth Sunday of January is recognized as Marie L. Clinton Day. celebrate on the fourth Sunday. However, we know what the weather was like uh, on last week, and so we suspended until this week. So, amen. Now we'll have a man who thinks that he's the master of the house. Amen. Right? About right, Danny? Amen. But sin is coming now. Amen. Come on. Y'all receive the nice amen. All right. Amen. All right. Take a bite down Amen. 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 Amen.
with that now amen we are getting ready to have our message and uh, i did not amen choose a person to introduce our speaker okay but i was thinking uh sister superintendent that there will possibly be no one better than the parents to come and to introduce her amen so amen you all can choose between the two who will come and introduce your daughter to this August body and also, amen, to the world. Because sure enough, amen, we are doing the Facebook thing. Here comes mom. Let's give her right in our hand, y'all. Amen. 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 She won Miss Sophomore for Homecoming in Lee World. She also won Miss Teen FSU. And all with the support of everybody in this room. You, you all have always supported Sahara, and she appreciates that. And she's always here standing ready to do anything that you need her to do. Sahara is a cheerleader. Well, she's a, she's, a, she's a cheerleader both at Terry Sanford High School and at Legacy Athletics where she competes. Sahara has also competed in dance 
and um, she's also a mentor to the younger. She, she um, choreographed cheer um, for the legacy, the smaller girls. She has um, some mentorship roles and she spends her time on um, uh, Monday afternoons and Friday afternoons um, volunteering to help those. Sahara also is involved in student government. She's on the sophomore class. Sahara, and I haven't written. <laughs> she, she is what? Oh yeah, so Sahara is a thespian. She's um, active. She is currently a soccer player for Terry Sanford on the varsity team. She is maintaining a BC average, and that's to be expected with all of the things that she does. She's an A student, so she gets it and she applies and she loves to learn. She is a journalist. She loves to um, write and record. Um, she's a student in Up or Down. She won um, the the competition. She won um, what was it uh, for the 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 gym legacy? She was the gym uh, the athlete. The, she won the legacy award. She's the um, athlete of the year. Um, what else? <laughs> but you get the picture. <laughs> I could go on and on and on about this kid. I love it that she is respectful and obedient. Um, and um, she's developing well. And I just thank you and I thank God that you all have um, been here and been a great support to her. And thank you for always thinking about her and always encouraging her and supporting her. And she, everywhere she goes, she lets them, lets them know she's a member of them. So without further ado, oh, I can pull up. <laughs> the next voice that you'll hear um, is uh, my husband and I's oldest daughter, Sahara Ekua Jaque Knight.
and um, I think Bud's message for us. The world we live in, butterflies, technology, prices, feelings, people, seasons, and fashion are some of the things that we can be sure will always change. The world just remembered September 11, 2001, a day we will never forget, the day that travel changed forever. We are going through a pandemic. Whoever masked everywhere we went, Whoever thought school and church would be shut down when we would have to wear a mask everywhere we went. Telephones not only allow us to talk to people, but they are computers and fax machines. Prices go up and down all the time and people try to catch sales whenever they can. Sometimes we are happy and sometimes we are sad. Sometimes we are glad or mad. We are, we are up, we are down. It all depends on how we feel. There are four seasons, summer, winter, spring, and fall. These days, the season seasons seem to get mixed up. It is a part of nature that baby grows into a toddler. We outgrow clothes because our bodies change. Butterflies start out in a cocoon, then emerge, then emer then emerge into a beautiful butterfly. Dresses are long and short, Pants are wide leg, then straight. Flowers start out as seeds and then boom, into butter, beautiful flowers. Things around us are constantly changing, but the one thing that never changes is God. Transformative change is what God is looking for. He wants us to change to become better and serve him. When a transformation takes good thing, only God can change our hearts. We cannot change by ourselves. It takes the Holy Spirit to change the way we think and act. 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is, new, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, this new has come. When Christ is in you, all the things you used to do you do not do anymore. Ezekiel 36, 26 tells us, and I will give you a new heart and a new spirit I will put I will put within you. And I will remove the heart of stone from your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. Each day you will live. You change, you become more, you become more and more like what God wants you to be. He has ordered your steps. He can and will make you into the person he wants you to be. Remember, change can be good. Nothing stays the same. A transformative change is an important and lasting change in a person. Buds become the, the change agent in your school, your neighborhood, your home. Let the world see Christ in you let your light shine and continue to bloom for Jesus. That same. Yeah. Nothing stays the same, is it? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. But we as Christians <laughs> will change. Yeah. But only change by the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Just turn for one second to the scripture that was read by Zen. Excuse me, by Sahara. Ephesians. The fourth chapter, just for a moment. I'm not preaching behind her because she's already given the message. But let's take this with us today. Ephesians, the fourth chapter and the 28th verse, where it says, 
Let him that stole steal no more, but rather let him labor, working with his hands. Amen. And the things which is good, that he may have to give to him that need it. The 29th verse says, let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use and edifying that it may minister grace unto the hearers. And thirdly, grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. And then lastly, let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor Clamor is confusion and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. It's time for change, church. The Bud's message was right on time. Thank you, Sahara. We need to change. Come on. We need to change. That change will bring something to this world that we need. And that is love. For what the world needs is love. Can I get an amen? amen? I'm going to invite all the children in the house to come and to grace the altar. Come with your mask on. Let all the children come. I would like to anoint and to Pray for all the children that are in the house. Amen. And uh, this space ourselves, you can probably move around here too. Amen. Let's put a little space in between all. And I'm going to ask every parent that is here just to come and stand behind your child. If a parent is here, let the grandmother come or the grandfather. stand today, O oh Father God, to pray for these thy children that have come. That, Lord, even on this very special day that we celebrate, O oh Father God, Maria Clinton, but more so, Father God, for the movement, O oh Lord, for the buds of Christ. These, Lord, are your children. So, Lord, Father God, as I lay my hands upon each. Lord, we ask your blessings upon them. For Father God, not only are they, are they the church of the future, Lord, they are also the church Amen. of today. Yes. Lord, I'm asking God that an anointing will flow Lord, from the very crown of their heads. Lord, down to the very souls of their that, Lord, that when the enemy will come to entice them, O oh Lord, that, Father God, they will remember, Lord, that you are still God. And through the name of Jesus Christ, they have the power, dear Lord, to resist. Lord, bless them in a very special way, Lord. That, Father God, they will continue, Lord, to do that is will, according to your will, and, Lord, according to your word. 
We ask, Lord, that, Lord, you will not only stop there, but, Father God, you will be with every parent, every grandparent, God, as long they look after these children and to grow them in the admonition of the Lord. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, bless them, O oh God. Touch them, O oh Lord. Thank you for them, O oh Lord, that brought the children today. For the Lord, these children cannot come into the corporate worship of the Almighty God. Leave someone standing in the gap for him, O oh God. So, Lord, bless the parents. But, Lord, not only these, but those who are there, God, on social media or wherever they are, on the telephone, wherever they are, God, I thank you. And I ask your blessings for each and every one. The Lord, touch us as a church, O oh God. Touch us as a church, O oh God. Touch us as a church, O oh God, to look out for these children. To do what we can to help them along the way. That, Lord, they'll become very productive citizens in this country. A country, Lord, that was built on the words in God we trust. And bind the hands of the enemy as we plead the blood of Jesus Christ over their lives. Thank you, God, for these children. Thank you, Lord, for the children. Thank you, Lord, for the children. Will the church say with me, say, thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. For the children. For the children. Jesus name. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 God bless you. Come on, let's give the Lord. You may rise and go with the blessings of God. Amen. Know the Lord is with you always. Even uh, unto the end. Amen. Amen. Come on, yes. everyone that come out today came out today to support the children amen, amen. hallelujah as I look out I see uh, some that might not have been here for a little while we understand the weather and also be under the weather amen sister Agnes good to see you back out amen, amen. hallelujah brother Knight good to see you back out amen and all the other Natalia God bless you it's good to see you back out. Amen. I know it's been a little while because the weather have held us back. But looky here. We're here today. And we want to thank God. Come on, give God a praise. Amen. amen. But this, amen, will conclude our service today. Amen. May heaven smile upon you and give you peace in all that you do. Amen. Amen. And for the one that is out there, and you know, uh, maybe I should extend an invitation to discipleship. I don't think it would be right and it, we would be remiss if we did not extend, amen, hallelujah, for the right hand of fellowship. To be, amen, saved by the blood of Jesus Christ that he shed on Calvary's cross. So as you're here today, Hearing the words, amen, of change. If the Lord has touched your heart today in such a way, amen, hallelujah, and to believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that God has raised him from the dead. The word of God says that thou shalt be saved. So if there's one today, amen, that would like to come forward and amen, to give your heart to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Then come. I will lead you in the sinner's prayer. Or even to rededicate your heart to the Lord Jesus Christ. If there be one that is so touched today. Hallelujah. You may come. But for those that are out on social media, wherever you are. Whether you are on Facebook, YouTube. 
Instagram or Twitter or even on the conference call today. If you desire a closer walk with the Lord or to give your heart to the Lord, just pray after me. Just say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Make me the person that you want me to be. Thank you for dying for me that I may have a right to the tree of life. I believe that you are the Son of God and that God has raised you from the dead. Take control of my life and make me the person you want me to be. And I will give you thanks and to glorify you. For it's in your name that I pray. Amen. 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 God bless you. And if you pray that prayer, my dear beloved, just know that Jesus is yours. Saved from your sins. But it doesn't stop there. Find your good Bible-based church and to continue worship, studying the Word of God. Pick it up and read it. Start with the book of John. A great place to start. Amen. God bless you. We thank God for each and every one. Come on, let's give our children and some hand on the God bless you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. So at this time, I'm going to have quick remarks from our superintendent. She is going to come. Amen. Off the remarks. We have also got the president of the WHOMS. Sister Myrtle, even if you want to stand here and say hello, hallelujah, she's waving her hands, amen. God bless you, thank you, amen. But let us have remarks, amen, from our superintendent of birds. Um, I want to take this time to thank my church family um, for always supporting the birds. No matter what we decide to do, you're always there to support us, and we love you for that. I want to take a special thanks to thanks to Knight family for coming out today because I know they're grieving at this time, but they... I appreciate them still carrying this out for us today. Amen. And um, I just want to give them a hand clap. And thank you, Sarah, Sarah Knight. Thank you, Sister in Christ. I thank you for still helping me to do this. I appreciate this. And I love my church, and I love my children. And don't you ever forget it. We don't get to see each other like we should because of the pandemic. But my love for you will not die. I love you guys. Thank you. I was talking to her this morning. She said, well, Pastor, I was trying to ask her a few things. She said, I've been doing this a minute, okay? You've been doing it a minute? You know what I said, right? I said, I hope you got a few more minutes in you. <laughs> Amen. Because she does it so well. And we thank God for you, okay? All right. Amen. For all that work with the children. Uh, don't forget to deposit your uh, your uh, contributions in the uh, in the envelope as you uh, depart. If uh, Amen, you didn't bring it with you, send it uh, to the uh, mailing address or Amen Cash App, whichever way. And don't forget, now we're making up for three weeks, okay? All right, Amen. Hallelujah. Command, rob God. <laughs> All right. Let's make sure that we drop, Amen, our contribution. So with that, now I believe we're at the epitome. We're at the end again, Amen. And I'm sorry, Amen, for Brother Knight and Sister Knight, Amen. Parents of these three wonderful children, let's give them a hand. Of course, we'll incorporate all the children whenever we can and how we can. So with that now, let us bow now for, amen, the benediction. May the peace of God which passes all understanding guard your hearts and your minds in the love of his very wonderful son, our Lord and our Savior, Jesus the Christ. Now may the blessings of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost be with you and rest with you henceforth and forevermore. And the church of God will now sing together.
still for a moment as we extinguish the candles. Again, we will depart, amen, by uh, pews.